Greetings and welcome. I am Mingle and this is Cards, the World War II collectible card game by 1939 Games. Welcome to part 2 of my two part series on your first aggro deck. Alright, first off, if you've missed the first part of this two part series, be sure to check out the first one, top right hand corner. We crafted the aggro deck and explained the thinking and intent behind each card. And then secondly, be sure to head over to playcards.com. You'll see my cards how-to videos listed over here. If it's not on the popular decks, you can check it out at the decks tab. Um, and it is very informative. It shows you the cost. Uh, it tallies all the resources and it shows you the cost to build this deck. And then also I listed my first episode here on how to craft this deck. I think I'll put the second one, the part two, maybe below the first ones just to show the gameplay of this deck. And second from last, once again, the more mature players out there, we are running my Players vs GM event this coming week. So be sure to head over to Discord and to join me in my Discord group and to, to opt in to be eligible to take part in the event coming up. And then lastly, Cards is coming out of Early Access, so be sure to take part in that event on the 15th of April 2020. If you manage to watch this video in time, be sure to take part in that. It is a great milestone, and I'll be sure to be there myself. All that being said, please stay tuned for the content right after this short intro. stuff so if you are new to cards welcome to cards it's a great game with an awesome theme and also a very friendly community be sure to head over to my discord and to join us it will be great to hear your thoughts and for you to share various things of your life your pets etc etc with us in this episode we will be continuing from part one we will be looking at the deck we created in a matchup I will discuss the opening hand and we will have a look at the turn orders, which cards ideally to play on which turn and also which cards to feed or combo from other cards. Jumping over in game, we can head over to battle and then we play with the Japan aggro deck. Mr. Nick. My brother-in-law and father-in-law's name is Nick, so yes, that's interesting. Alright, so yes, I don't know what my matchmaking will be like. Um, obviously, this is a card intended for newer players, a card deck, so I'll, hopefully I will kind of demonstrate it well enough. So, this would, I would not open, I wouldn't put this in my opening hand. It's uh, too expensive on the mana curve, if you will, the credit curve. Akita Regiment also, um, you need a three three cost at least. There's a lot of cheap decks, uh, cheap cards in this deck, so I would rather stick with cheaper cards. Ideally, you want the I didn't get it. The, ideally, you want the Panzer that operates for zero if you play infantry unit. I would think that's a good opening card. I'm gonna send the Blitz to the front. That's always the risk. If he does not, and he does not destroy that god, we can always play Rising Sun next turn. Okay, well he traded his uh, 33rd Recon unit. And let's, let's get him into the game as quickly as possible. Dive bombing, bye bye. That's the trade off by playing a cheap credit cost 34th infantry regiment unit. Alright here we go, so you want to play the Panzer 35, we'll play that over there. Um, now the question is do we want to draw? I think we want to draw cards, it, it would have been nice to do that one extra attack but for now let's draw. 
So we've got a way to get rid of a two cost, which this is not. And I am just going face, so to speak. We're just hitting, we're just attacking the HQ. We want to do as max damage to the HQ as possible, because we've got the Akita that does two damage to a random enemy on destruction, and then obviously the Hayabusha that does two damage to the enemy HQ when it's destroyed. It's a catch-22. The enemy wants to attack these uh, fighter units because they deal damage, um, but if they destroyed, you get to deal two damage to the enemy HQ. So it's a double whammy <laughs> value you get out of this card. So that's always good. I like burn. Burn is very controversial in this community. Uh, some people love it, some people love it. Um, I personally feel that way about the uh, German bomber decks. Uh, it's a fun mechanic and I enjoy the thematics behind it, but personally I'm not a big fan of playing with, a, with such a deck. So it's interesting, these things. So this is a very, very thematic and awesome time to play my Sudden Strike. He buffed the uh, tank and then I get to destroy it, so that was a that was a bit of a pain for him. I want to play my second one onto the table, the 34th Infantry Regiment. There we go, I don't mind discarding another one, because they end up dis I discard a lot of my key cards using this unit. In the cheaper deck, uh, this is an awesome card, but in my more expensive crafted decks this is and sometimes it hurts when you discard your elites um so in the previous episode i spoke about expensive cards and cheap cards and i mentioned that the um oh, that hurts. i'm still not gonna bother with that um let's Send the Akita to the front as well. There you go. It's looking good. Sorry, what are, um I forgot the unit's name. I can't find it now. It was the first one we brought out. Of, was it the 35th Cavalry Units Brigade? Uh, I just don't always remember the names. Um, but I mentioned that it was an expensive card. When I said it was an expensive card, I didn't mean it was an expensive card to play in-game. I mentioned because it was a limited, it was a more expensive card to craft. So I should just clarify on that um, going forward in the future. So we've got Air Blitz. Nice. Another Panzer 35. I really like this unit. Face, face. We just keep going face. We send another one to the front. And I believe this might be GG. Air Blitz. And my opponent had some specials and elites as well. Oh, sorry, limited. So I haven't seen an elite yet. Um, but yes, he's been playing with specials. So I believe for my first time playing with this deck, this is an awesome demonstration of potentially what you can do. It's turn 6. So this is more or less... I mentioned also turn 5. You want to, That's a bit... Um, optimistic but if you can finish by turn five i would say ideally six or seven then then it's um you know oh i wanted to play airplane <laughs> then, it, then it was a good game Well, thank you for watching this uh, short tutorial series. I hope you have learned something and that you would get some value out of this. Kindly give me some feedback down in the video comments. Let me know if you've played with this deck, how it's been going for yourself. Or alternatively, any uh, comments would be welcome. Um, let me know what you guys think of these cards um, or what you think of the cards game. I would love to hear from you. Great. Until the next one, you have yourself a wonderful time. As always, lekker dag and bye-bye.